everybody, welcome back. Today I have an easy but delicious recipe for you and that's gonna be my butter baked salmon. First thing you're gonna do is get all of these wet ingredients together. And you're gonna follow that up by getting all of these dry ingredients together. We did forget to put the salt in there and that's to taste, but do not forget it. What you're gonna wanna do is mix all of your wet ingredients together and just as a side note, you guys, it does not get easier than this as far as making salmon goes. This is literally a put everything in the bowl, mix it all together, dump it on the salmon, and it's delicious. I know that Dijon and honey probably don't sound like they are delicious together. I was a little weary at first too, but I loved it and my husband raves about it every time I make it. After all those wet ingredients are in there, mix them up really well. Make sure there's no clumps sticking to the sides and dump in all those dry ingredients. I'm gonna say this for a second time, just in case you forget, do not forget the salt like we did. It's to taste whatever you think. Don't over salt it, but definitely don't under salt it either. Here you peep my forky spatula, it's my favorite. After everything is mixed, it should look like this. For this recipe, I used three pounds of salmon. And I'm just gonna let you know right now, as far as cutting goes, for this one, I went right down, but for most, you're going to want to push the knife down on the salmon. That way you're not ripping the fibers apart. After that, you're gonna get your pieces of foil, flatten that down on your counter. Put one piece of salmon in the center. You want enough foil so that way you can create a little tent. It's not easy, it's not gonna look pretty, but as long as you can keep all of that glaze in there, that's all that matters. See, you can see me fighting with the foil. Okay. And for this, I put two to three strokes of glaze over the top, whatever looks good to you. I like it to be really coated and I always make sure to put it on the sides. And once you have all your little tent boats of salmon, pop those in the oven. Set your oven to 400. And we originally did this for 10 minutes, thinking that it was gonna be enough, but it turned out it was not. So I upped it for about five more minutes, making it 15. And that's when it turned out perfect. This was our tester. We went ahead and unwrapped the foil. You just need to stick a fork in there and I twist it a little bit and it should flake but not be dry. You have to be really careful with this because if it dries out, it's gonna have the consistency of tuna. And that's pretty much it guys. This is so good and it looks like it was way harder than it was. But it's literally dump all the ingredients, throw it in the oven and you have a great dinner. Thanks for watching you guys. I appreciate you so, so much. If you have any questions, let me know down there.